Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro and welcome to another episode of Azure Fridays. In this video, we are going to talk about Azure Analysis Services. What is it? How can you perform advanced analytics with the help of Azure Analysis Services? What kind of features it's going to provide you? And how can you utilize all those features? Not only that, I'm also going to let you know how can you connect Power BI with Azure Analysis Services. So if you are the one who would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create all the video contents on Microsoft Power BI and Azure. So if you would like to know more for Microsoft Power BI or Azure, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now let's head over to my laptop. Now let's get to know what is Azure Analysis Services. Well guys, Azure Analysis Service is a fully managed platform as a service or EAAS that provides enterprise-grade data models in the cloud. If you haven't started using it, then I'll request you start learning about it. And also, this is the same as you used to use on Microsoft on-premise SQL Server. There we have a tabular data model, so it's going to be the same, SSAS. Use advanced mashup and modeling features to combine data from multiple data sources. Define metrics and secure your data in a single, Trusted Tabular Semantic Data Model. The data model provides an easier and faster way for users to perform ad hoc data analysis using tools like Power BI and Excel. So like I have mentioned previously, we can use Azure Analysis Services to ingest data into Microsoft Power BI to create reports and dashboards. Azure Analysis Services can get data from any of the available data sources. So almost you can connect with any number of data sources over there. You can get the data there, then you can model the data over there. Now we are going to move forward and we are going to have a look what kind of features Microsoft Azure Analysis Services provides. Well guys, the number first comes over here that it is very easy to get started and scale with efficiency. Using Microsoft Azure Analysis Services, you can use Azure Resource Manager to create and deploy AAS or Azure Analysis Services instance within seconds. And with the help of Azure Analysis Services, you can take advantages of the scale, flexibility, and management benefits of the cloud. You can scale up and down or post the service and pay only for what you use. Secondly, with the help of Azure Analysis Services, you can transform complex data into a one version of the truth. As I mentioned, you can get data from any of the data sources. You can combine data from multiple sources into a single trusted BI semantic model that's easy to understand and use. You can build hundreds of gigabytes of your data model. With the help of Azure Analysis Services, you get match performance to the speed of business. That means you can reduce time to insight on large and complex data sets. You will get fast response times. Mean your BI solution can meet the needs of your business users and keep pace with your business. You can connect to real-time operational data using direct query and closely watch the pulses of your business. Not only that, you will also get secured access anytime from anywhere. Azure Analysis Services make sure only authorized users can access your data models, no matter where they are, with role-based security and Azure Active Directory support. With 99.9% .9 availability, your users can access critical information when they need. With the help of Azure Analysis Services, you can also accelerate time to delivery. You can release your BI solutions in a predictable and highly secure way. You can use the robust application lifecycle management capability to govern, deploy, test, and deliver your BI solutions quickly with confidence. And lastly, with the help of Azure Analysis Services, you can develop everything into your familiar environment. That means you can use SSMS to build your cube or tabular model. You just need to connect with your cloud server that means Azure Analysis Server and you can also then view it using your Visual Studio or maybe your SSMS. So those are the features that you are going to get with the help of Azure Analysis Services. Now I'm going to show you how to connect Azure Analysis Service Cube or Tableau model with Microsoft Power BI. So first of all you should have your cube or 
Azure Analysis Services model ready and your instance should be up and running. After that, you have to open your Microsoft Power BI desktop application. Over there, you have to go to the Get Data. Over there, search for Azure Analysis Services. Now, once you have your Azure Analysis Services, then you have to provide the credentials over here. That is your server name and you have to authenticate over there. Once you do that, then you can see your data model over there and you can connect it with that. So that's all you need to do over here to connect with Microsoft Power BI. Now, I have also created one dedicated video on Azure Analysis Services. If you are new and you don't know anything about it, you would get everything about that. It is kind of a course for the beginners for Azure Analysis Services. I'm going to provide you a link in the description section. So please don't forget to check it out. And also, guys, if you have any question and concern, please do let me know. So in this video, we have learned what is Azure Analysis Services. What are the benefits you can get with the help of Azure Analysis Services? And since we are learning how to perform advanced data analytics, so this is the part where you can get data from any of the sources, then you can create your tabular model. Once you create your tabular model, after combining data from the multiple data sources, then you can perform all the data modeling techniques over there. And once it's ready, once you implement all the role level security, then you can connect it with Microsoft Power BI to perform your analytics. So guys, please do let me know if you have any question and concern. And also, if you haven't subscribed this channel, please consider subscribing this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.